Hello, everyone. In the period of 8090 to 9020, there were three major figures in educational psychology in this period, William James, G. Stanley Hall, and John Dewey. These three men distinguished themselves in general psychology and educational psychology, which overlapped significantly at the end of the 19th century. Psychology is a science, and teaching is an art, and sciences never generate arts directly out of themselves. An intermediate inventive mind must make that application by using its originality. By William James, do you want to know about educational psychology and its importance in the real world? Let's find out. Welcome back to Refine Education. And today we're diving into a fascinating topic that impacts every aspect of our learning journey. Educational psychology, ever wondered why some teaching methods work better than others? Or how our brains absorb and retain information? Well, that's exactly what we're exploring today. What is educational psychology? Psychologists working in the field of education study how people learn and retain knowledge. They apply psychological science to improve the learning process and promote educational success. For all students, let's explore one by one. Number one, cognitive development. One of the key aspects of educational psychology is understanding cognitive development. This involves examining how students process information, solve problems, and acquire knowledge. By recognizing these cognitive processes, educators can tailor their teaching methods to better suit individual learning styles, number, to individual differences. Every student is unique with different strengths, weaknesses, and learning preferences. Educational psychology emphasizes the importance of recognizing and addressing these individual differences. This personalized approach helps educators create an inclusive and supportive learning environment. Number three, motivation and learning. Motivation is a powerful force in learning. Educational psychologists explore the various factors that influence student motivation, such as intrinsic and extrinsic motivators. By understanding what drives students, educators can design engaging lessons that inspire a love for learning. Number four, classroom management. Effective classroom management is another vital aspect of educational psychology. It involves strategies for maintaining a positive and productive learning environment. By implementing evidence-based practices, educators can create classrooms where students feel safe, motivated, and ready to learn. Number 5 Application in Teaching Now, let's talk about how educational psychology is applied in the real world of teaching. From designing lesson plans to assessing student progress, educators use principles from educational psychology to enhance their teaching methods and create a more impactful learning experience as we wrap up today's discussion. It's clear that educational psychology plays a pivotal role in shaping the educational landscape. By understanding how students learn and addressing their unique needs, educators can empower learners to reach their full potential. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, keep learning and exploring the fascinating world of education with us here at Refine Education. Thank you for joining us today. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. See you in the next video.